Hi, everyone. Maggie here. And I thought um, I'd work on my journal that um, I started probably a couple of weeks ago. And um, I've been just doing a little bit here and there. And um, I decided to work on it a little bit tonight, Saturday night. And I thought, well, I might as well turn the camera on. So I thought I'd do a little bit in the signature and maybe do um, the front of the cover. So first, let me, I'll do the front of the cover. Um, well, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do it first. So this is the signature. It's a one signature. It usually... Um, that's all I do is one signature and, um, I try to make it on the, on the, you know, fuller side. I think there's like 50 pages in here, but I'm not sure. <clears throat> I didn't write down how many when I counted the, counted them. But anyways, let me put this aside for now and I did some prepping so I think I know what I want to do so this is the um, the cover it's a fabric cover this is some um, heavy muslin inside is some batting and then on and then on the front I use you can't even see it underneath um, I used a, another fabric from uh, Crafty Me Shop, and any laces, appliques, and that that I use that I use or that you see tonight um, are from Crafty Me Shop. And then I had this vintage piece in my stash, so I cut it to fit, and I put it um, on top of that. And then this little trim here, and you'll see why I use that in a minute with the uh, image um, this is a, a vintage trim with ribbon and that was in my stash also so <clears throat> this is what I'm working oh and I should say that this journal is is I'm going to call it a, a light vintage grunge I think there's some light grunge and there is vintage. I don't think it, I'd really call it uh, shabby chic. But anyway, so this is the image I'm working with. And the image is on fabric and I put it in this framed piece here. And I um, fussy cut a ribbon trim to fit. And then this is just an extra um, little... Um, scrap from one of the um, papers that I used inside. So this is my thought process. This is going to go here. Oh, let me come down a little bit. This is going to go here. And then I cut up a large, um, it's a by the yard trim, applique trim. And this piece, I cut this piece to fit on the corner here. And then this is from the same um, applique trim. Uh, this is by the yard also. And I just cut it to fit. And this is going to go like that. I want that ribbon to show too though, so that's gonna go down a little bit. So that's that's um the cover so far. I don't think I'm going to add anything else to it, but I mean with me, if you watch me, you never know. So let's um put these pieces up and I will um glue this down. So this is paper, and so I think what I'll use, I think I'll use the art glitter glue on this. It works really well. 
Actually, I might put a little um, hot glue in the middle. Just to keep it in place until the the um, our glitter glue adheres. So there's all right. So I've really got to press that down though, or else the um, the glue won't end up sticking. But it works really well with fabric. I hardly ever use fabric tack anymore. Even though I have it, this has just been kind of my go-to glue. Let me put this back in there before it, it starts to dry, because it dries really quick. So I hope everybody's having a good weekend. Um, it's a rainy one here, so my sinuses aren't doing too well. and comes with a, a cough here and there which ends up it, I can't I don't know if you can tell it ends up affecting my my um, speech talking however you want to call it oh that's kind of crooked isn't it I can never do this there I guess that's okay all right <clears throat> All right, the appliques I'm going to have to hot glue. So it's going to go down like this. Like that. So it's been a quiet weekend. And I think it'll be quiet tomorrow too because it's just the weather is just not good. It's kind of not just rainy, it's kind of raw and blah. Just a couple little dots here and there. And some on the flower. You don't need a lot of glue. I hate clumps of glue. <laughs> it's not attractive. So I try really hard to um, to keep it so that you hardly ever see any glue. Okay, there. So that's good. Right, and then we have this piece. So I am, I am keeping it rather simple because I mean this is, you know, this piece here is kind of, you know, o over the top. So I want to keep the rest of it on the simple side. It doesn't need a lot of. It, it doesn't need a lot of um, extra. Let's put it that way. All right, so. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's put this down here, a little bit here. Yeah, I thought I would turn the camera on because I haven't done a video. I think it's been a week. It might even be more than that because just dealing with um, the sinuses and everything, I haven't. felt well enough to really be, you know, to do much crafting. Lori and I, um, Girl on the Ridge, Lori Fusco, and I did go live on her channel uh, Tuesday night, and I'm not sure if we'll be able to do it this Tuesday, but if we do, it'll be here on my channel, and um, we had we had fun. It was good. It's been a while since we've been able to um, craft together live and um, we used to we used to um, do it almost every week before uh, COVID happened but Lori
Mary has stuff going on. And so we craft when we can do our lives. I don't want to squish these flowers, ribbon flowers down. Here we go. And actually, I think that's probably good just around the edges. So yeah, I haven't done I haven't done a um, a journal in, a, in quite a while because I really haven't done that much crafting through the winter. Not anywhere near what I was hoping to be able to do. I just I haven't had the oh well that came off. Um, I haven't had the uh, I don't know the mojo, I guess, to do it. And I've struggled with it off and on. So I kind of just kind of like let it go for a while. I did a lot of reading. And then I get into reading and it's like that takes over. Okay, so there's there's the cover. I like how it came out. And now you see um, this trim matches the color in her in her um, her dress. And then this matches the color like here and here. All right, so there's the cover, the out the front cover, and I don't think I'm going to put I usually don't put anything on the back I need a little bit of glue there keep that down okay all right so there's the cover let me put that up there and get the signature back here all right so here's a signature and the papers that I use coffee dyed paper it's all coffee, um, coffee dyed paper. There's some papers from um, Louise and like this color, she does other colors, the blue, the bluish gray, um, this one here, I forget what this was called. And then the rest are um, coffee dyed. So I, I had um, a kit, a digital kit that the papers look like they are watercolored and I've been dying to use it but you know it, it wasn't for the winter so I thought okay this this will this is spring we can call this grungy spring <laughs> I just loved these papers and um, I've had had this digital kit for probably Oh, I probably got it like a couple, at least a couple of years ago, maybe even longer. I don't know. But anyway, I, d I did do um, quite a bit in here, but I also have more I really I need to do. I need to make more ephemera um, for pockets and that. And I put some trims on the, you know, the sides of some of the pages. I'll show you that. And uh, like this one has a piece of this trim here. All right, so this is a pocket and I want to do something on this pocket. Uh, maybe some labels. Let's see, I have a bunch of um, Tracy Fox labels, of course. Garden floor, that sounds good, that will work. Uh, let's see. We have like that. Okay, that really. 
really won't go. Let's see. Just trying to find something that will that will fit. I also have some rub-ons, some flower and butterflies, and maybe um, let's see. I'm trying to do some different things too in the journal. I'm trying to make my own like pockets, ephemera, stuff like that, rather than this kit did not have um, pockets or anything like that. It was just background papers. So that works out well for me as far as um, doing, doing it on my own or some of it anyway. Let's see. So, I wonder, this may take me a hot minute, so just kind of, <coughs> excuse me, bear with me. <coughs> um... All right, I think I like this. Butterfly right here. So let's see where I'm going to put that. Sometimes I have a hard time with my fingers getting these to cooperate. Oh, I did. All right, so maybe we'll put the butterfly down here in the corner. So this isn't going to work. So let's put that back. And let's see. I know I have something I can use to... I thought I had a... A um, like a popsicle stick or something. Is there one in this one? Nope. Oh, here's one. Okay, I know I had one. Okay, so let's put the butterfly there. I love these rub I love using rub-ons and I love these rub-ons. They're so pretty. All right, so we have that. And then we have the garden floral. So I think I'll put that right in the corner. <clears throat> and I make them back and um, do something else also, but I just like doing a little bit on each on each page if I can and then I can always come back and do more but I just feel better knowing I've you know I've done something on it that makes sense okay so we have that there and then this is a pocket it's a full pocket and here's um one of the tags I made for Tracy's um, birth month challenge thingy. <laughs> this is July. It's not, July's not spring, but that's okay. Um, this is one of my birth flowers. Is that what we're going to, maybe we should call it. Um, I was born at the end of July. So, I used July, I think I did three, July, August, and maybe, maybe, I forget. But anyways, um, that's Fussy Cut added some Crafty Me Shop trim. So I put that in here because it was so big. I didn't realize how big those tags were. 
Uh, let's see. What did I want to do here? I, so I think that's it for this page. And then I put this trim here. And as I said, all the trims, unless I say so, are Crafty Me Shop. So this one, I have little pearls. I have two size tiny pearls. These tiny ones here. And then these, which are tiny still, but they're a little bit bigger. So I think I might want to use these. Let me see. Just to put them in the middle of the of the flowers. Maybe I'll use the tinier ones. Okay, the tinier ones on the tinier flowers at the end there. Actually, because of the size, I think I'm going to use the tiny flowers in all of them. I don't want the pages to stick out too much. All right, what happened? Oh, there it is. Okay, take that off. All right, so I'm just going to use my art glitter glue again. <clears throat> Make sure I'm in frame. Put a dot in the middle. There. 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 And there. So, yeah, now I don't even remember what I was talking about. I'm just going to set those down right in the glue. Oops, there's two of those. Oh, these are so tiny. <laughs> I think I probably lost uh, with it. It's in the glue. But luckily the glue dries clear, so that should be okay. I won't have to worry about it coming off, that's for sure. Oops. This isn't easy, guys. It's not easy. There, one more. And there. I know, and some of you might say, they're so tiny. Why are you even bothering? But to me, it just adds to the detail, I guess. I just like to do those. I just think it does make a little bit of a difference anyway. I'm just going to tap those down, make sure they're in the glue good. Okay, and then there's two flowers here. Yeah, I don't want to put them on that side. Um, okay, let's get, and then I want to put one, let me get back in frame here, one up there. See, it's stuck to my fingernail. <laughs> oh my gosh, this could be a disaster. But anyway, all right, so let's put some there and then am I still in frame? Okay. A little there and a little there. I just like doing these little details. I don't know why. It makes me happy.
make sure that's not stuck. Actually, I think I'm going to put one of the bigger ones on that single one on the other side. Come on. Okay. All right, that cut away from me. I know somebody's out there saying, you are crazy. Okay, that's on there. Call me crazy. Whoops, come on. Okay. Oh my gosh. There. There. All right, now let's get one of the bigger ones. I know I have glue on my thing. I don't even know what this is called. This here, there's glue on it, so they, more than one sticks to it. Okay, that's in there. Um, let me just make sure that's in there. That's in there. Okay, and that belongs in there. <clears throat> well, okay, let me put these to the side. That's kind of nerve-wracking. <laughs> All right, so here's another pocket. Um, this is April, which is part of spring. There's a little tag here. Um, I haven't made a tag for this one, so it's a double pocket, and then that's not quite dry, so I'm going to hold on here, and then I did a little stamping here, and then this opens up, and it's just a, a journal pad, and this is where the grunge kind of comes in. as well as like the copy dye paper. I love that. So here's two more pages of that um, digital kit. And I added this little trim here to the top. And then here's another pad that you just, you can lift it up so you can see the birds, but I'm not sure what else I'm gonna do here. And then I just added this really pretty trim here. I have to iron, flat iron that. And then this is just kind of like a collage. And I haven't finished it. Um, before I turned the camera on, I, was, I just glued this down. But I do want to put something in here. So a couple of the blank pages I'm going to collage on. There's going to be plenty of um, spots for journaling. There's two more pages. So I'm not I'm not worried about um where did that come from? Yep, see, okay, that belongs back here. I'm gonna have to check those. All right, where was I? Here. So I'm not worried about having blank pages. I may not do something to every page, but um, this isn't from that kit. This is, ooh, I forget. Uh, that's, it's another kit, but it's another company. I just can't remember now. Um, and then this is the, a little mini CD holder. I had done this on one of our lives too, and it flips open, so I have to do something to the back. Well, I'm not even in frame. Oh my gosh. Uh, I have to do something to the back. But at least it's, at least the page is started. Here's two blank pages. Okay, so 
um, on this page, I'm not putting pearls in the middle of this, but I do want to put something in there. I just have to, let me see what I have here. If there's anything I can use. Just give me a minute. I do have a bunch of scraps here that, whoops, sorry, plastic scraps. Let me just see if there's something in here I can use. That's possible. Nope, can't use that because then I'll have to do a lot of um, gluing. I thought I had like a flower trim that I could use. See, the problem is I have way too much in here. Holy moly. All right, I'm just going to use this then. All right, so I have a piece of this embroidered trim. And I'm going to um, cut out the flowers quick. Cut out a few flowers. All right, so there's one, but I don't want all that netting around it. All right, so let's see how that looks. Yep, that's that's good. Um, this is uh, a lace pocket here, and then I just added this piece of trim I had in in the um, the scrap box. I thought the green went really well with that green there. Okay, let's see. Oh, let's grab this one. This is a good one. I just have to get the netting off around it. These really aren't the greatest scissors for doing this, but I forgot to bring the smaller ones over. Okay, so there's there's one there. One more. I'll try to be quick. I just want to make sure that it's a good one. Yep, there's one. Oh yeah, so I was saying that I hadn't done a journal in quite a while. And it's funny because it's hard. So I find it hard sometimes to get back into something like like that. I mean, I, I'm fairly new at making journals. So there we go. All right, so this I'm going to use my hot glue gun because make sure I get the right side it's fabric to fabric and fabric tack you really have, have to sit there and let it dry or it won't stick it'll just keep coming off I mean once it's stuck down it's not going anywhere but I don't have the patience and where um sitting here doing this with you guys. I don't want to waste your time. Okay. Okay. So see, it's just a little detail like that, that, you know, I just think makes a difference. 
Okay, and then we have this flip out. I have to, these are two more pockets. I have to um, do something to the inside and make something for it. And then here's another trim. And I was going to add pearls to this, but I'm not going to do it on camera because I have to let it, I have to let it um, sit here and, and let the glue dry. Okay, and then that's the middle. And I left these because I think I might want to put some dangles on. I've never done that before, so I think I'm going to try to do that. Here's the here's another July one. Another little tag I made. And this is another pocket. Little just a little scrap there. A couple more pages. I'm just not positive what I want to do to these pages. If I leave any page blank, it's gonna be these because I don't want to cover that up. It's just too pretty. Okay, this is just the start of a collage page. I tried to grunge this a little with some um, sage color uh, archival ink. So it may not look pretty, but it's grungy. <laughs> so there's two more pages. This is a um, this is a corner tuck here using this. This is a by the yard trim also. And then here's just a little ribbon piece I put there. I, I don't know if you can see the different colors because it's nighttime and the shadows. But there's some green and some like lilac and pink. And then I, here's two more pages. And these are grungy. And here's another pull out with a um, tuck spot there. Did some more um, stamping. And I like how that came out. And then the last two pages, and here's another. I made an, another tag. This is from my last video, the one before this. And that goes in there. And then here's the, the last page. So that's it. And then it'll have a hidden spine and it'll go in here. Okay. So I, get, I think that's all. It's been over half an hour. And I think that's enough for now. I might come back and do some more on camera to it. I just won't do like the little tiny pearls. <laughs> that's kind of a it's kind of a pain to do and like I said you have to let it you have to give it time to set or they're going to fall off. So, yeah. Well, I hope you were able to um stick with me through this and if you'd like please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I'm going to leave these out like that. And um I'm going to try to make more videos. I have a couple other projects I have to I have to start. And um, so yeah, so I'm hoping this is getting me back into into being able to do more crafting. All right, so I'm just going to say good night and I will be back again soon. Bye for now.